cancer, my cancer. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? It's going down the life of a cancer between the 16th and the 31st of October. Hmm. Hmm. Who feel like they got left out? Who holding on to that hurt? Hmm. Hmm. Keep in mind this Venus retrograde, y'all, is in Scorpio. That said, it has to do with the Pluto energy. If you want to, because some of y'all actually researching some of this shit that made y'all really start researching some shit. But we're going to get into that reading. This will be from the 16th to the 31st of October for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of cancer. If this is your first time to my channel. Hey, boo, hey. <laughs> I'm okay. Also, it's the first time to my, is this, this is your first time to my channel. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depend on what the hell these cards say. <laughs> so that said, if you don't like cussing, it's not your channel. I don't love you any less. In fact, I love you more. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of great readers on YouTube. So I'm not the one for you. To, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We are a little dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channels. Positive vibes only over here. But we do. We, we cuss. We enlighten. We love. We share. Sometimes we cry. It gets deep sometimes. Some months is better than others. You know, but it's all right to cry. Purge. I did your reading after 1010 for a reason. Purge. It's time to purge. Let it go. Let that hurt go. Okay? This is not a personal. It's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within a description. I currently have a reading special going on until the 15th of October. Um, it is $15 off of my 30, 45, and 60 minute reading. So if you want to save your $15, save your shmoney, but get your tea, definitely email me. Hit me up for a reading. I am available. Also, um, I think that's all my damn announcements. <laughs> Y'all, thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I read every comment. I may don't have time to reply like I used to because shit got really real in my world. <laughs> and I'm thankful. I'm not complaining, y'all, but I love y'all very, very much. But I do read every single comment, okay? Some I can reply to, some I can't. Y'all, my reading's been jumping. So, <laughs> praise, you know, <laughs> praise them, you know. But with that said, <sighs> don't be mad at it. All right, so we rock it. All right, you guys. So we're going to start with your spirit message, okay, for the month, the 16th to the 31st of October, and we rock it. My babies, a lot of y'all are shedding the, light on, shedding the light on situations and really pulling the wisdom out of it during this time. A lot of you guys are, a lot of you guys are really looking at things through new eyes. Well, you will be. And you're kind of seeing during this time, especially with this Venus retrograde in Scorpio, it has to do with death and rebirth, okay? So some of the things that you swept up under the rug and you thought you were done with, you're going to really quickly find out that no, <laughs> you were not. Bring that ass here, boy. Bring that ass here, girl. Come on, deal with this right here. And you're going to find that it's still some hurt that you need to let go. Look at my accessories trying to make a cameo. Look, Stop it. <laughs> Quit it. Cut it out. <laughs> all right. But um, <laughs> y'all, let that hurt go. A lot of y'all are researching, you know, the energies during this time. I do see a lot of y'all shit going to be popping off. You're going to be like, hold the fuck up. What, what Pluto about? What is this Venus retrograde and Scorpio going to do for cancer? Some of y'all is in the, in, in, on Google. Google is your friend. Okay. Don't shy away from Google. And don't, you, you don't even got, if you don't like the type, you can even, you can even hit it. Okay, Google, because me and her have conversations. That's my friend when that was my friend when I ain't have too many. Uh, okay, Google, <laughs> tell me what I need to know about this shit that's shaking up in my life. <laughs> y'all, yes, y'all, <laughs> okay, Google is your friend. All right, I do see a lot of you guys are needing to take the situations, you know, that you've gone through in your past, and a lot of you guys will be doing so. You're going to actually get the wisdom out of the situation, learn the lesson in order to balance your own feelings and emotions in order to let it go. A lot of you guys are really ready to walk into your purpose, but I feel like past situations, past opinions of others and things of that nature, you've kind of lost your way as far as your balance. You're needing to balance yourself. Some of you all are having a hard time letting go some hurt possibly from a twin flame during this time. I feel like a lot of you all are kind of being defensive towards your twin flame, or maybe you feel like your twin flame is being defensive towards you. 
And to be honest with you, things are being balanced behind the scenes. The universe is truly at work, baby. You just need to take the lesson out of the situation. Some of you all who are fathers, okay? Some of you all will be, well, some of you all will be learning. Um, some of you all are going to be finding out your new fathers. Congratulations. Smoke a love the kids. But you're having a hard time with moving forward with the person or the situation at hand because you're wanting to hold on to the hurt that was caused in order to bring that baby. Well, not in order to bring the baby here, but holding on to the hurt around the person that involves the child. Let that go. Okay. Some of you all are definitely, um, some of you all are going to be finding out some information that can really sting a little during this time from your father. Let that hurt go. Extract it. Extract. Let it go, baby. As soon as you get it, forgive that person. Forgive yourself for holding on to it. And let that shit go so you can move forward, okay? Some of you all could be actually speaking to your father, especially I'm I'm I'm, I'm finna have to touch home. <clears throat> Some of you all fathers abandoned you, possibly when you were a teenager. Maybe you felt a form of ab abandonment, but your father is wanting to come into your life. And some of you all, the spirit is really calling for you to be accepting to that expansion, okay? Because for some of you all, it has to do with hereditary cycles. And your father, as well as you, have a responsibility to break that, okay? So please move forward. Some of you all has to do with the father of your children, okay? Or maybe if you're dealing with someone and they're a father, okay? If they had outside children and they're having an issue with the mother, maybe the mother is trying to come in and bring peace, okay? Or, and some of y'all are kind of a little defensive in defense mode with the mother. Stop that. Stop that. Be secure within yourself and let go of those insecurities or those or, or that fear that you won't get chose. Let's just get real because y'all know I'm 100. Let that go. Let that go. You or Some of y'all are literally manifesting. Your mind is so strong. This is a very crucial time of manifestation for you all. A lot of y'all need to be outside more often. I am seeing spirit is calling you to be outside. While outside, a lot of y'all are going to receive a massive ass download in nature. Between the 16th and the 31st, a lot of y'all going to receive a massive download, but it's going to bring you to a very grounded place, as well as assist you in letting things go in order to bring the things that you desire to you. But again, this has to do, for some of you all, a lot of you all with sold contracts. Some of you all possibly feel left out in the cold, okay, with the situation having to do with possibly a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Leo emphasis showing up here. But it can always be Aries or Sag as well. Some of you all feel totally betrayed, okay? You feel like justice was not in your favor. However, it was. Because there are still some lessons. For some of you all, if your twin flame is a fire sign, you want to hold on to the hurt that this person caused and possibly abandoning you. But that person is a divine lover. So they had to come in during a cycle. Okay, and surface that hurt in which you yourself have not truly dealt with. Some of y'all got to find, you're going to be finding the essence of really, you know what I'm saying? How can I put it? The word I'm looking for is not coming to me. But really receiving the beauty and seeing the beauty and being alone. Some of y'all really need to get to know yourselves again because you've lost yourselves in people pleasing, trying to be. <laughs> the perfect person for everybody. Some of y'all could be going through some type of disappointment or some type of um, betrayal with the Libra as well during this time. Or if you all are married, some of you all could find out some disturbing information. Y'all, oh, I'm like, where the hell is my cause? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay, Spirit, please show me what can Cancer is spent between the 16th and the 31st. What are they needing to let go of? Yeah, some of you all need to let go of your expectations around the family situation. Some of you all will be going to the court system, okay? For those of you all who are pregnant right now, especially if your um, child's father or mother is a Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Aries, some of you all may be in the legal system has found out some very uh, disappointing information 
uh, in the legal system. It's going to make you feel real betrayed. It's going to make you feel some type of way, okay? I do feel like this involves a Pisces as well as, um, this could be secrets as well. And this could also include a Leo or a Scorpio. Yeah, some of y'all have a Scorpion in your life that's been being very defensive towards you. And some of y'all getting ready to find out some information on why this person truly, truly, truly was being toxic towards you or being very distant. But some of you, you're getting ready to find out some very interesting stuff about a Capricorn. Some of you all have a Capricorn that really wants to move forward with you. They really want to create with you, okay? But I feel like some of y'all done probably cut this person off, but it don't matter. Here they come. Here they come. This person is not taking no for an answer. But some of you all, you're going to have to make a judgment call on a, uh, on the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you all are ending cycles or ending the expectations around the way that you wanted things to go because you're having to allow God to do God's job, babes. Okay? Some of you all have a very toxic air sign in your energy. This person wants to move forward. You really want marriage, okay? However, I feel like some of you all could also be finding out, some, I'm sorry to ruin the surprise, but some of y'all have a tourist in y'all energy that is really tense to get down on one knee. He's going to say, bonjour, will you marry me? And will you say yes? Some of you will say yes because you have family and babies on the way. Beautiful beginnings, Cancer. If only you just let that hurt go. People make mistakes. If the shoe was on the other foot, stop looking at the situation as if, as, as if the other person did it to you. Let me ask you this. Think about it from this standpoint. If this other person, or if you did this to this person, what they did to you, would you want to be forgiven with the love that you feel for them that is undeniable between the two of you? Think about it. Different perspectives. Yeah, some of you all are going into a new cycle with the Torian. <laughs> some of you all, some of you all want to mend a family situation, okay? Possibly with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but because for some of y'all, this is definitely a soulmate for you all. Some of you are going <laughs> into a new cycle, possibly with the Gemini, or some of you all are going to find out, you know, that this Gemini wants the same thing you want. I mean, what? What you tripping for? <laughs> Some of you are definitely experiencing past life relationships, possibly with a fire sign. Leo. Whoa. Some of you could have had an earth sign that left you out in the cold before this person is coming back. Okay, and intuitively, some of y'all are very, 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 your intuition is very heightened during this time. Intuitively, some of y'all know a fire sign coming back, and you do have a past life connection with this person. This person is coming back expressing love, and they also finna express some truth that could actually change the dynamic of how this relationship is going to go going forward. But it's up to you to be forgiving. This is a time of forgiveness. I ain't tell you to forget shit. I said forgiveness, okay? We not gonna forget the motherfucker, but let it go. Don't hold on to the emotion behind it. Let that go. Let that hurt go. However, accept the situation for what it is. Receive the clarity. Move forward. Because I see nothing but victory. Every fucking 10 that I could have in this deck, baby, is on this board. For some of you, it's definitely some type of karmic cycle involving a Sagittarius or possibly a stalemate situation. Somebody who you feel stuck with. You want to hold on to this person, but I feel like it takes two people in a relationship. A relationship is two-way street. It takes both people to be willing to put in that effort. So it's really about you standing up for your truth, setting boundaries, and really just being real with yourself, Cancer. Some of y'all really need to acknowledge a, a, acknowledge acceptance issues, abandonment issues, rejection issues. You need to acknowledge this within you internally and really, really, really spend some time loving and building and restructuring and recreating your world within. But it starts within the self. Some of y'all got a lot of options, but you don't want to let that hurt and that fear that somebody going to do you some, you know, do you some in a relationship. So you just focus on money. But late at night, <laughs> late at Hold on. Let me, what my, what my, let me use my candle. 
If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. Y'all know the words. Yeah, so you focusing on money. But this Venus energy, this loving energy, all up in the, all up in here, all somebody wanna love all up on this, and all up on all up on this right here, all up on your 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 behalf for it, all up of this, and you being defensive. Why? Why? How are you? And a lot of y'all are manifesting love. But you manifested in a period of indecisiveness. Some of y'all are feeling very overburdened, indecisive in your head, having to do with an Aries, okay? I feel that you've been waiting on this person to come forward and communicate, okay, and really tell you the truth because some of y'all know that this person haven't communicated something with you. And to be very honest, it's really hard for you to let it go because some of y'all are really stuck on this person. Some of you are are kind of overburdened now that this person has is trying to return and you just like oh no 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 i actually got my shit together no i healed no because some of y'all have this person in your energy but you have an option of new love some of you all is going to be reconciliations with family situations and it's up to you to be honest and be truthful to yourself some of you all there will be truths revealed a lot of things that well, under the sun will definitely be revealed during this time. Okay, some of y'all going into labor early. I literally hear labor early. I heard it, labor early. Some of y'all going into labor early. Congratulations, mother love the kids. I y'all love children. I don't. I have this this baby be around me fever. Peep. I didn't say baby fever. Baby be around me fever thing going on right now. So I don't know what that's about. But I tell you one thing. Y'all better go get y'all wish. And if your wish is to reconcile, baby, with your lover, for some of you it's another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, shit's gonna, for a lot of y'all, shit's having to hit the fan in order to rebuild. Rebuild your foundation. But it's up to you to be forgiving, loving, nurturing, you know, that cancer shit. Authenticity. Yourself. But not to overgive to the point where you overextend yourself, where it becomes this feeling. Get that monkey off the back. For some of y'all, that monkey on your back is you holding on to this hurt. Let it go. Get out of nature. A lot of y'all going to receive a download, a massive download that's going to help you see things from a different perspective to show you why spirits say you can't have it. Why? Be reflective. Instead of hurting, be reflective on where you've been and how far you've grown, how far you've come in your growth, in your success, in your mental space, your emotional space. Some of this is just a test from the universe. Is you ready to graduate? Cancer, did they hit me in the back? I I I said, is you ready to graduate? Okay, it's time to graduate. Happiness awaits. This is what I got for y'all between the 16th and the 31st of October. My last question: What you scared for? Go be happy. Y'all, let me know how this resonates. Comment. I love y'all. Mwah. Namaste, babies. Much love, much light. Many blessings to you. All from all of this love. All of this. Boom. There it go. Love y'all. <laughs>